U.S. and U.K. officials are not the only ones reacting to the terror attacks. Annenberg Media's international reporter Alicia Wajaja is here with reaction from around the world. Alicia. Thank you, Aton and Kaylee. Annenberg Media's Sophie Flay and Jeffrey Dubroff are studying in London this semester. We talked to them today about how people there are reacting. Here in London, luckily nowhere near the terrorist attack. Today, most USC Annenberg students were in class as it was happening. The terrorist attack happened in a major tourist area, so people are being advised not to go. I am here in London, obviously away from the parliament area. No one is allowed in or near that area, as that is where the attack took place. The station near that area has been shut down. But around me, everyone seems to be going along as normal. A little on edge. People are a little worried. People are texting, calling their families, making sure that they're okay and letting them know they are okay as well. But everything seems to be going on fine. The buses are running normally. The tube is running normally. British students here at USC say they're concerned about the attacks. I'm kind of concerned that this specific event is going to affect politics in the future of the UK. You know, after something like this happens, it's so traumatizing to the national psyche. I'm scared that this will be weaponized against Muslims in the UK. It's just scary knowing that um, people would, would kill innocent people, pedestrians, uh, in, in, in a place that I would call home. London Mayor Sadiq Khan reassured both residents and visitors after the attack. He said Londoners will never be cowed by terrorism and as always will stand together in the face of those who seek to harm them. Aton and Kaylee, back to you.